Welcome to the virtual college exploration for all Ohio students sponsored by the Ohio Association for College Admissions Counseling and Strivescan. Thank you for joining us. A few housekeeping announcements before we get started. You can use the Q&A button on your screen to type your questions to our presenters at any time. Your camera and microphone are off so the panelists cannot see or hear you. This is just one of many different sessions happening, so be sure to check out the be sure to check out the full schedule at oacac.org. This presentation is being recorded and will be available within about a week at that same website, oacac.org. I'd now like to turn it over to our presenters. Thank you very much. Uh, good, good afternoon, everyone. My name is Chris, and I work at the University of Akron in the Office of Admissions, but I'm also a proud two-time graduate from UA. I'm actually in my bachelor's degree in marketing, my master's in higher ed. My diplomas are hanging right up there on the back wall as well. Um, so you know I'm not telling you a lie. I'm just gonna take a few moments here to share a little bit of information about the University of Akron. And there is plenty of time for a Q&A at the end. So be thinking of those questions, feel free to type those questions in that Q&A box at the bottom of the screen. Um, and either myself or my colleague Austin, who will be monitoring that, uh, will answer that question either live or he'll send you a private message as well. So please feel free to ask those questions if you have uh, anything because we want to make sure we're getting all of your questions answered. But just to give you a general overview about the University of Akron, we have about 19,000 total students enrolled at UA. Last year's freshman class, we had about 3,000 freshmen join the Zips family. Their average academic profile is a 3.54 GPA, 23 on the ACT, 1116 on the SAT. So we don't care which one of those tests you take, and we are actually test optional for the class of 2021 knowing that a lot of students were unable to take the ACT or the SAT due to COVID-19. And we'll talk about that application here in a few minutes. We do have students from 46 different states and over 70 foreign countries. So it's a really cool experience about coming to Akron is that a large population, but not too large. And also just a very diverse uh, student body as well to make sure that you can take advantage of learning about different cultures and backgrounds and there being folks from your hometown, but you know, students from another country as well and learning from other people. We do have about 200 different programs to choose from. Uh, we're definitely known for our College of Engineering. Uh, there is a co-op component to that. It's not mandatory, but most students will take part of that co-op. Um, it does extend your program from four years to five, but you get paid for that co-op experience. On average, students make between uh, it's like 17 to $22 per hour. So that's some pretty good money that you get to make. We also have our College of Business, which as I mentioned before, a proud graduate of that program. A uh, lot of choices in there if you want to do finance or accounting, marketing, sales, HR, supply chain management. So a lot of choices within that business realm. Uh, and then a, a lot of stuff in that kind of medical field. So nursing, dynamite choice there, three hospitals within a five minute drive of campus. So very easy to get to your clinicals beginning your sophomore year. Uh, we also have a biology, biomedical science slash pre-med program. Um, so if you are thinking about going to medical school or dentistry school or pharmacy school after college, you know, we do have that, those pathways for you through the biology degree. Um, our School of Education is amazing. It's the LeBron James Family Foundation School of Education. I have a great partnership with the I Promise School that opened up a few years ago that's gotten national and international recognition, um, as well as sports science and wellness. So if you're thinking physical therapy, uh, exercise science, those types of majors, we have that program. Uh, they have some great labs through that uh, program as well, including the bod pod, the underwater treadmill, and an altitude training chamber. So some good stuff there, um, as well as a bunch of different computer programs. If you're interested in computer science or cybersecurity, uh, those information systems programs, uh, a lot of choices there. And then our school communications. It's actually Emmy award winning school communications program. So again, just a lot of different choices. Um, I actually started off as a civil engineering major in my freshman year and then I switched to business. I still graduated in four years and I think that's a big advantage about going to a bigger school like UA is that if you do change your mind, that's okay. Or maybe you're also undecided. We have an exploratory advising office and they will help kind of get you on that program to make sure you're staying on track to graduation even if you do come in undecided as a student. Now, of course, you might need a little bit of extra help outside the classroom. So just know that there are a lot of resources in place on campus for you to take advantage of. One person that you can go to is your academic advisor. And again, that's going to be that person that helps kind of put you on that program guide to graduate in four years or maybe five if you're doing uh, that, that co-op program through the College of Engineering. Just making sure you're taking the right classes in the right order and those types of things. 
We also have the Office of Academic Retention and Support, which is also known as ORS. Uh, they do a lot of great things, including hosting the Choose Ohio First STEM program. So if you are in a STEM major, you wanna check them out and apply for their additional scholarship that they offer. And of course the faculty, they, they're gonna be a great resource for you during your time at, on campus. Uh, there's a reason why they're teaching instead of doing what they're teaching about is that they wanna help you, uh, they wanna you know, be with students and they, they wanna make sure that they're helping you reach your dreams. So make sure you, you utilize them. Um, I mentioned 19,000 students, but we have an 18 to one faculty student ratio. So your average class size is about 25 to 30 students. Um, so about 93% of your classes will be 50 students or less, 73% of your classes will be 30 students or less. So really for the most part, those nice small class sizes. And I can definitely uh, tell you that that's, that's true, that the professors know who you are, you're not a number. Um, I still see some of my professors on campus um, and they're like, oh my gosh, why are you wearing a suit now instead of basketball shorts and a hoodie? Um, because they still remember me in class and, and from you know, over 10 years ago. We also have an office called Zip Assist, and if you need help with anything, make sure you check out the Zip Assist office. They do amazing work, um, and they're just there to support students, whether your car breaks down and you don't have enough money for a car repair, you can go to them. They have emergency grant money available for students. They have food pantries, all that kind of good stuff too. We also have the Office of Multicultural Development, or what's known as OMD. Uh, they help all students. And so maybe you want to be partnered up with a peer mentor group, or you need tutoring, or you just want a place to hang out. Um, check out the OMD office. And of course, there's also free tutoring in our main library. So if you need help writing a paper or need help in your math class, um, you can check out the tutoring services there. Of course, you want to have some of those outside experiences or outside the classroom experiences too. Maybe you want to study abroad. Those trips will vary in length depending on the experience you want to gain out of them. Uh, so they can be as short as a week during spring break or during winter break. They can be a summer trip or they can even be a full fall or spring semester. Um, so a friend of mine went to South Korea for a fall semester, lived there for 15 weeks um, as an international business major. That was an amazing experience for him. Um, so make sure you're checking out all those various options and talk to your academic advisor, you know, even as a freshman, and let them know that you're at least thinking about studying abroad so they can work that into your program guide, again, to make sure that you're staying on track to graduation. There's also a lot of great research opportunities. So if you're maybe in some more of those hard sciences, uh, maybe like a biology program or chemistry, you you really want to take advantage of all those research opportunities. Uh, just know that we are a public research institution and we do encourage our undergraduate students to partake in research if they're interested. And there's a lot of really fun research projects that are going on. Uh, or you can join one of those student design teams through the College of Engineering, uh, which is a great hands-on learning uh, as well. There's a Baja car, an Indy farm, one car, a still bridge, concrete canoe, NASA robotics team, biomedical engineering team, a service team as well. So a lot of great stuff to learn and do what you kind of what you're learning about in the classroom in those books. Um, you also are going to want to use the services at the Career Center. Uh, so they're right in the heart of campus in the student union. They put on etiquette luncheons and job fairs. They also have a database called Handshake. And that's where all the student jobs for on-campus appointment, off-campus appointment, internships and co-ops and full-time jobs are posted. So you're going to use that as an incoming freshman through your whole undergraduate career. And then when you're graduating, you're going to be applying for those full-time jobs. So you're going to want to make sure you familiarize yourself with Handshake. They also have this really cool program called the Career Closet. That's where you can check out a suit jacket for free, just like you're checking out a library book. Um, so I think that's really cool if you have that final presentation in class or a job interview and you don't have a suit, you can check out a jacket for free. Because of all these great experiences and the quality of our programs, 92% of our graduates have a full-time job or continue their education within six months of graduation. So I think that just shows that there are amazing programs on campus and we are setting you up for success in those next steps in life. Of course, you wanna have a little bit of fun though too, right? While you're on campus. So join one of our 340 different student organizations. It's a wide range of offerings. You have fraternities and sororities. You have intramural sports, the club sports. You have acapella groups and choirs. You have the marching band. You do not have to be a music major to join the marching band. But if you do join, you get a $1,000 scholarship for doing so. We also have intramural club and varsity esports programs. So if you're into gaming, we have a bunch of students on campus that are also into gaming. I play Call of Duty almost every night. So I would join one of the intramural teams. The varsity level is just PC gaming and is very competitive to get on one of those teams. You have to try out like you would be trying out for a, a sports team. Uh, we also have our student TV station and radio station. Again, the TV station has been nominated for over 30 Emmys since 2006. They've won, I think, over 10 now. Um, 
which is pretty cool. And then our student radio station is the number one student ran radio station in the nation uh, based off listenership. And you don't have to be a communications major to join either one of those. So maybe you just have a passion for TV or radio or media production. You can join that for fun, which is a great opportunity for you to, again, get that great experience. And again, there's so many different organizations do not have enough time to go through all of them right now. Uh, with fitness and athletics, I'm a huge sports fan. So one of the things I loved as a student was going to every home sporting event for free. So all you have to do is show your student ID, which is called your zip card. You show up at game time, you show your student ID at the door, they swipe it, boom, you're in. You can cheer on our football team, men's, women's basketball, our national title winning men's soccer team, the women's soccer team, and, and all the other sports in between. So every home game free to go to for you, which is really cool, showing your zips pride. Uh, as I mentioned, we also have intramural and club sports programs as well. So intramural sports is where you're competing against other University of Akron students. It's going to be a little bit more for fun, flag football, basketball, maybe a dodgeball tournament, something like that. Club sports is that next step up. So that's where you uh, are part of a team, you have a coach, you have jerseys, you're competing against students at other schools. Um, so you'll do a little bit of traveling and, you know, be in those more kind of higher threshold uh, athletic competitions. So there's a wrestling team, there's ice hockey, roller hockey, paintball, lacrosse, um, soccer, baseball. I mean, so all the good stuff as well for the club sports. We also have a ton of traditions on campus. Um, our nickname is the Zips and our, our mascot is Zippy. Zippy is one of only a few female mascots in the nation. We know she's a female because she has a pouch and only female kangaroos have a pouch to carry the young. That's your uh, kind of big lesson for the day. And then all the big events that we have going on campus every single year, the first one you'll be a part of is called Nuru Weekend. So your orientation is kind of set up into two parts. You have your advising day, when you meet your academic advisor, schedule classes, you know, that kind of stuff over the summer. And then the weekend before classes start for the fall semester is called Nuru Weekend. So Friday will be convocation. That's a big ceremony of, hey, you're an official zip now. Uh, let's start off the school year. Saturday is a, a fun day of like different involvement sessions and learning more about the city of Akron even and hearing from a leadership speaker. And then Sunday is Roof Fest. And so think of that as a giant college fair basically, but all the student organizations. So all those 340 different student organizations have a table set up in our student union and get to walk around and be like, oh look, there's the ballroom dance club. There's the anime club. There's the pre-med club, uh, all the different ones in between. Uh, we also have a couple rocks on campus that you need to check out when you're here. So there's the painted rock uh, and you just get to paint that rock whenever paint it. Uh, maybe a fraternity or sorority that you join, they'll paint it their letters or whatever organization you join will paint it with their name, uh, that kind of stuff. There's also split rock, which is a magical rock you have to walk through during orientation. If you do, you get four good years of luck. If you walk through it during finals week, you get all A's on your finals. Still study though for those. Uh, you you want to make sure you still study for those finals. There's also Spring Fest, which is the end of the year celebration and send off for the graduate, graduating seniors. So it's just a, that Friday before the summer really kicks off, making sure that we're having a nice big fun day. Changes every year a little bit. Sometimes there'll be like food trucks and a petting zoo and carnival games and you can see carnival rides there as well. Sometimes it's a concert. A couple years ago we had Nick Jonas um, and then there's like fireworks at night. So changes again every year depending on what the students vote for, but a lot of great fun stuff to be a part of. And then with living on campus, we have a ton of different residence halls to choose from. Uh, there's three different styles. There is a community bathroom style. That's where you share a bedroom with one person and you share a bathroom with the whole floor. That's the lowest cost option. And the bathroom gets cleaned for you every day by professional staff. There's also an in-suite style of restroom. So it's you and your roommate in a bedroom, the two of you, and a bathroom, just the two of you. Uh, medium price point and you clean your bathroom. So it's pri probably not getting cleaned every day. There's also an apartment complex. So it's a four person apartment. You each get your own bedroom. Uh, there's two bathrooms that you share between the four of you that you clean, full kitchen, living room, washer and dryer as well. So that's really fancy. That's at the highest price point though. It doesn't matter what style of residence hall you select or which building you live in. They all have high speed internet, cable TV, center air conditioning, free laundry, and what I like to call our own Akron Netflix movie system. So it's called the Res Life Cinema. You just get to go online and see movies and TV shows streaming for free, just like you were logging on to Netflix or Prime Video or Hulu um, or what Disney Plus Now and all the other ones that are available. Uh, you also get to personalize your experience by picking the exact room that you want to live in going into your freshman year. So if you're currently a senior in high school, uh, beginning this mid-May, you actually get to go 
through the housing system and go pick the exact room that you want to live in. So if you have that roommate you want to live with, you can pick the same room. Uh, think of it as like a ticket master system. If you're going to a sporting event or a concert, you know, you pick your section row seat number, click that seat that's yours. That's how you're picking your bedroom. Um, so I think that is a, a great perk about our housing system is that you get to personalize your experience that way. Uh, and I, you probably are going to want a meal plan as well, and you have to have one if you're living on campus. Just know there are a few different options for residential students to select from. You have two different accounts on your meal plan. There are dining dollars and block meals. Those uh, dining dollars, you're going to use at those franchise locations that you see right there. So the Panda Express, one of the three Starbucks that are on campus, the Einstein's, the Annie Anne's, two Chick-fil-A on campus, the Cadova as well. So if you get to any of those places, you go through the, the line, you order your food, hand them your student ID, and then they take the dining dollars off your account. To use your block meals, you're going to go to Rob's Cafe, which is the main cafeteria on campus, Aikini buffet style. Picture of it is right there on the screen. So there's a different food station. So you get to walk to the front door, you swipe your student ID, they take one of those meals off your account, and then you hit all the food stations. So there's a stir fry station, burgers, chicken sandwiches, waffle fries and tater tots, uh, sandwich station, salad bar, I mean, whatever you want, it's all in there and it's all delicious food. Uh, there's also various convenience stores across campus. So if you just need a quick you know, a soda or a, a Red Bull or something like that, you can pop in one of those convenience stores in between class. And then as for the Akron area, there's a ton of stuff to do on campus that we already talked about, but there's even more in the city of Akron. One really unique about coming to UA is that it feels like a small campus when you're here as a student because everything's so close together, but it's just like a five minute walk to downtown. You can take advantage of all those great things as well. So there's a ton of companies right around the area. And as I mentioned, a couple of hospitals as well. So again, if you're thinking about doing a clinical rotation or a student teaching, ton of schools in the area, if you're thinking about doing an internship at an accounting firm or financial firm, dude, there's some headquarters right there five minutes from campus. So it's very easy to get to those. There's also a lot of different things to do like Lock 3, which is an outdoor concert venue, has uh, different festivals that are hosted there, different cover bands will play there, and ice skating rink during the winter month as well, uh, which is right next to Canal Park where the Akron Rubber Ducks play. That's the minor league baseball team for the Cleveland Indians. You got to root for them tonight at 7 o'clock. Uh, Trap keeps you know, kicking off the playoffs here. Hopefully we make it to another World Series. There's also a bunch of different restaurants on Main Street. One of my favorite ones called Lockview, which is gourmet grilled cheese. It's delicious. There's also the Akron Art Museum, which is free for students to go to. So, I mean, that's just a, a snapshot of some of the things that are right downtown. And again, really cool that it's just a five minute walk from campus. Now, if you are a senior, just want to let you know that the application is available. You can find the application on our website um, or we are, are also on the Common App. We don't care which one of those two applications you fill out, you just have to fill out one of them. If you fill out ours, it'll probably take you about five minutes to do. We do not require the essay on the Common App, but if you are submitting it with your application, we will add that to your file pretty easy. You will then need to talk to your high school guidance counselor and have them submit your current transcript to us. And as I mentioned, we are test optional for the class of 2021, but if you have taken the ACT, uh, we will accept that on the transcript or from ACT directly. Um, we are also automatically waiving the $50 application fee for the class of 2021. So really go online, take five minutes, fill out the application, talk to your counselor about sending in your transcript, and then those ACT or SAT scores, or on your application, there's a question that says, would you like to be considered for admission and scholarship consideration uh, without an ACT? And you click yes if you haven't taken it, um, or no if, if you want to submit your test scores. We also will allow you to submit updated materials all the way until May 1st of your senior year. So if you have not had the chance to take the ACT yet, but you plan on doing that later this school year, you can apply now as test optional and then submit that, you know, be admitted, then submit that test score. Um, if that would increase your scholarship, we would then send you an updated letter letting you know what your new scholarship is. So after you apply, submit those materials, your application will be reviewed. Within 24 hours of review, you will receive an acceptance email, and then you'll get your acceptance packet in the mail uh, a couple weeks after that, which will have your initial scholarship offer in there. And then it'll be time to confirm your enrollment. Most students will think about doing that, you know, the winter time uh, during winter break or right at the beginning of part of January, because that's when the housing contract opens up. And we'll talk about that a little bit more here in a second. Separate from applying to main campus is applying to the Williams Honors College. So if you have a 3.5 GPA and a 27 on the ACT is kind of their preferred criteria, but they are also test optional for the class of 2021. You do also submit an essay with your application. So it's a great opportunity to share, hey, I have a 24 or 23 on the ACT, but I was only able to take it one time and I still want to apply to the honors program. I have a 3.5, a 3.7, 
or above, something like that. So if you don't have an ACT, you can still apply to the Williams Honors College. If you have an ACT, but it's maybe not to that 27, that's okay. Um, they'll kind of throw that out and just look at your essay and your GPA. So it's a more holistic review of the, on an application. If accepted to the Williams Honors College, you do receive an additional scholarship, which is great. Everyone loves getting more money. You get to pick classes before other students every semester that you're at UA. You also have a special honors academic advisor, just another resource for you on campus. And there's honors sections of courses that you get to take. So instead of taking like general Western humanities or general English, you get to take the honors section of that. So it's the same material. It's not extra tests. It's not extra papers. Um, it's just honor students in those courses. You can see the early action deadline for the honors program is January 4th. So clearly plenty of time to apply to main campus and apply to the honors program. Their late deadline is April 1st. For those of you who live in the state of Ohio, which is probably most or all of you, um, you once you enroll at UA, you will be a part of the UA tuition guarantee program. That means once you start, your tuition and your fees are locked into that price for four years um, or the eight semesters that you are enrolled, if, again, if you're doing co-op for engineering. Um, so that gives you that peace of mind of knowing my tuition price, my fees are staying the same. Uh, you are also automatically considered for that Akron Guarantee Scholarship, and we'll dive into that in a second. And there's going to be more scholarships to apply for. There's the Underrepresented Student Scholarship. I mentioned that STEM scholarship through the, the STEM office, through ORS. Um, there's stuff through your academic departments, potentially, and the private name scholarship. So there's a lot of money here, um, and I want to make sure that you get your chunk of it. Also, apply for external scholarships. Go to FastWeb, scholarships.com, all those other big search engines to find as much money as possible. Now, with the uh, Akron Guarantee Scholarship I mentioned, you're automatically considered for this. It starts at a 3.0 and a 20 on the ACT. The higher your GPA and test score, the more money we actually give you. Um, so you're, even if you have that 3.0 now, I still want you to work hard the rest of your senior year to see if we can get that GPA up a little bit, because that could give you more money in a scholarship for your freshman year. Um, again, we, since we are test optional, uh, if you don't have a test score, you are still getting full consideration for the Acting Guarantee Scholarship, or if you have that 3.0 or above and you were only able to take that ACT once, you know, maybe in the spring semester last year, and it's a 19 or below, we're going to throw out that score and still give you that Akron Guarantee Scholarship as long as you have at least a 3.0 GPA. As long as you get something for your freshman year through the Akron Guarantee Scholarship, after you earn 30 credits, which will be the end of your freshman year, we're going to add $500 to your scholarship for your second year at Akron. After 60 credits, we give you another $750 added to your scholarship. Then after 90 credits, another $1,000 added to your scholarship. So as long as you're staying on track to graduation, your scholarship is going to go up. But remember, your tuition is also staying the same. So it's becoming a lower price every year that you're continuing on at the University of Akron. No other school you're looking at is doing that and investing in you in that way. You probably have heard about the FAFSA before that opens up in a couple of days here. Make sure you fill that out. Our party deadline is December 1st. So you wanna make sure that you're going to FAFSA.gov, submitting your FAFSA to our financial aid office, then they will kind of process all that information and send out that financial aid package to you. Usually it's around that mid to late January time, uh, maybe early February, depending on what's going on. Um, but just make sure that you're doing it by that parade deadline. As for a breakdown of tuition and fees, you can see for this current year, just under $12,000 for the whole year. So that's fall and spring tuition. That's your general fees. That's even your parking pass. So yes, as a freshman, you are allowed to have a car on campus and you will park on main campus right outside your residence hall. Um, you don't have to park at the football stadium and then take a shuttle 20 minutes to get to the main part of campus. So I think it's pretty cool is that 12,000 bucks for the year, both semesters combined between 12 to 18 credit hours per semester for the same price as well. See those on-campus housing rates will vary depending if you choose that community bathroom versus that private bathroom right in that middle of that zone there, and then that apartment towards the top of that $10,000. And then the residential meal plans will vary depending on what level you select of those as well. So that white, blue, or gold, if you want more dining dollars, you got to upgrade to that gold plan versus the white. Um, all the full breakdown of what that looks like is on the dining website. So you can see your sticker price is really hovering around that, what, 24,000, 24,500 or so uh, for the year before your FAFSA kicks in, before your other scholarships. That's why I want you to apply for all those additional scholarships that we talked about earlier. Now here's just a quick summary of dates in order. So you have your application has been available since August 1st. Um, so make sure you, again, are going to the website to fill that out. FAFSA becoming available here in a couple of days. Uh, December 1st is that recommended deadline for your FAFSA. 
January 4th is an honors college deadline. And I mentioned I would talk about that housing contract a little bit more. So that, that would become available at the end of January. Historically, it's been the last Saturday in January, the housing contract becomes available. Um, before you can file your housing contract, you have to confirm your enrollment. So that's why I talked about most students are confirming their enrollment in December to mid-January because then they can do their housing contract at the end of January and make sure that they're getting that perfect residence hall that they want, getting that first selection uh, when they go through that room selection process that we talked about earlier in mid-May. And then again, June 1st is that deadline to uh, confirm your seat into the Williams Honors College. If you have any questions, please feel free to drop them in that Q&A box right now. I can answer those for you. Or if it's a more individual question, feel free to take a snapshot here of the email or give our office a call. Also, I would encourage you to follow our students on Life as a Zip on Instagram. So that's a student-ran account. Every single day, a different student is doing a takeover. And so they're showing you what they're doing in class. Maybe they're going to co-op that day or internship. We had students that were studying abroad one semester and they did a takeover for a couple of days. So you really are able to see what that campus culture is like, what it's like as an Akron student, kind of behind the scenes, you know, really getting that personal touch. They often do, hey, ask, ask me anything kind of questions, uh, opportunities as well. So you're getting that student perspective. And then after today, if you had, uh, again, more questions, or you want to learn more, go to the website uakron.edu slash visit. We have in-person opportunities. Every single day we're doing uh, an in-person daily information session. So it'd be this PowerPoint again, or you can just take a campus tour if you'd like. We also have virtual special topics uh, most days at four o'clock. So uh, today was nursing. We have a, a student-led campus tour tomorrow virtually, which is pretty cool. His name's Tyrone, he's amazing, you'll love him. Uh, sign up for that. We'll have the College of Business coming up. We have, uh, who else? Uh, engineering is later this week too. Then we have another one with engineering next week that's gonna talk about computer programs. So a lot of great stuff. You know, It's a great opportunity to learn more specifics about the academic programs that we offer here at UA. So I just want to open it up for, for questions at this point. If we have any questions, again, please feel free to drop those in there and I will answer those for you. Um, what are the COVID practices on campus and how are these enforced? Are classes currently online? So we provided every student and every employee with uh, two masks to start off with. Um, rooms are being sanitized continuously. Uh, masks are required on campus for the, for the fall semester. We'll see what spring looks like. Um, we also limited uh, class sizes and spaced out all the classrooms. Um, so even if your class was 30 students, you might be in a classroom that could hold 50, but then we put one student per table instead of two, so spacing everyone out. Um, face shields that have been distributed as well to faculty members, um, and some classes are also online, um, but there are some in-person stuff because some stuff just has to be in person, um, but students were able to pick their schedule. So if you wanted to really just do all online courses, students were able to do full-time enrollment with, a full, with an online class schedule. Um, some were hybrid where like on Monday you would go in person and then on Wednesday you would be online and the other half of the class was online on Monday and then in person on Wednesday, um, that kind of stuff. So uh, yes, that's all being enforced and we're making sure that we're keeping all of our staff and students uh, as safe as possible. And then are pets allowed? Um, in your residence hall, uh, it depends on the situation and what pet it is. Um, service animals are allowed. Um, so if you have the, the documentation on uh, needing a service animal, that would be allowed and accommodated. You also are allowed to have like a fish, um, but you can't have like a frog um, or anything that could like walk on land, basically, uh, that kind of stuff. So yes-ish, but also kind of no, um, just depends on what pet it is and if it's a service animal or not. What other questions do we have? Is there a major in hospitality management or digital marketing? I'm also a junior high school. I want to know when I am a senior graduating, are we going to be test optional? Can't predict the future. Um, you know, it really depends on what the world looks like. If we're still in kind of this COVID lockdown and the test hasn't been offered a bunch, uh, then we may still be test optional. So that's why we was really specific on saying the class of 2021, we were test optional and going through that. Um, we do have a lot of uh, business programs. We don't have a hospitality management, but we do have a marketing program, integrated marketing communications. There's also a PR program if you're interested in that, uh, a general business administration program too. So we do have a marketing program uh, as well as all the other ones that I just mentioned. And is there a graphic design major? Yes. And the graphic design program is through the School of Art. Um, so it does have that more art feel to it, where some other schools you might be looking at, they might have that program in their College of Business. Um, so 
just you know, kind of knowing that there is that art component to it, but amazing. Uh, each year they have about 100% job placement right, for those students. Uh, so dynamite choice there. Media production type program, yep. So that TV and radio station through the school, school communications, it's actually a media production or yeah, media production uh, program and it's called, you can spe then specialize in TV or radio or both. Um, so yes, we have that. Uh, do you require staying in uh, residency for a certain amount of time or is it completely my choice? Um, if you're talking about staying in a residence hall, it's only required to live on campus for your freshman year unless you're a local student. So if you live in Summit, Stark, Portage, Medina, or Wayne counties, you are not required to live on campus your freshman year. If you live outside of those five counties, then you're required to live on campus in a residence hall for just your freshman year. And then after that, you could still live on campus like I did. I lived on campus my whole time in undergrad. Um, or you can get a house off campus, or there's a bunch of apartments that are not university owned, but just Akron students living there. So you have a lot of choices, uh, your sophomore, junior, and senior year. These are amazing questions. I, I do greatly appreciate you guys asking them. So if you have anything else, again, please feel free to drop them in right there. We'll wait a couple more seconds to see if anything pops in. Just wait a couple more seconds, see if any questions pop in. So please feel free to, to get those in there. I'll also kind of go back to the um, email address and phone number so you can write that down real quick again if you need to. So if you maybe, again, have a more individual question that you don't want to ask in this forum, that's okay. Uh, write down that email, send us an email to the admissions office. And we'll get you connected to your admissions officer. Um, here we go. Is there good classes for an oncologist? So you probably want to do more pre-med track uh, and go to like medical school after for oncology. So yes, would be the short answer, but you would be uh, biomedical science uh, is that degree through the biology program that, that you'd want to look at. Um, and that would be four years for a, a bio, biology degree, which is biomedical science focused. And then you're taking the GMAT and all that kind of stuff and then applying to, or the MCAT, sorry, the MCAT and applying to uh, medical school. Uh, and we have a great partnership with Neomed, which is about 15 minutes from campus, which is the, the medical school for Northeastern Ohio. Um, we also have partnerships with Leocom, at the Lake Erie College of Medicine um, and a couple others. So depending on what specialization you want to go into, um, we'd, we'd get you plugged into one of those areas. And you would also have a special pre-health advisor. So you'd have your main academic advisor to schedule classes and then a pre-health advisor who works closely with all those medical schools and works with all of our pre-med students, making sure that they are um, going through the application process and staying on track to not only graduation, but kind of that pre-med route and applying to medical schools. So you have even more people to help you out. So it doesn't look like we have any more questions. So I, again, I'd like to thank you for taking time out of your busy day. Uh, I know it's a weird time right now, but you know, I appreciate you guys checking out the University of Akron. I would also encourage you again to come to campus and actually get a campus tour, um, or at least check out one of those virtual tours that are also being, offering, or being offered uh, every Wednesday. What is happening to our athletic training program? Uh, we, so we have exercise science and pre-physical therapy. Um, so athletic training programs or like the field itself is going into a direction that you need a master's degree. And so if you do the pre-physical therapy or the exercise science program, you would then be able to apply to athletic training uh, master's programs or the physical, physical therapy master's programs as well. So um, dynamite choice if you want to take that route. And then you would just do an internship with probably one of our D1 athletic teams, um, you know, as an exercise science kind of student. Uh, getting that experience working with a D1 athlete or, or an athletic team um, is, a, is a great experience to have.
All right, so again, if you don't have any other questions, you know, enjoy the rest of your evening. I, again, I appreciate you checking us out and I uh, hope you, you know, visit the website to learn more and also visit campus to learn a little bit more too. So have a great rest of the day. If you don't have a question, if you are typing away, we'll, we'll hang out for a couple more minutes. All right, we just have a couple more minutes left in the session anyway, so we're gonna get cut off here in a couple seconds. And so, and again, feel free to type a question in real quick or write down the admissions email and send your question there, and we'll get back to you later this week. Thank you for joining us. When you close this window, there will be a link to a very quick four question survey. We'd appreciate any feedback you can provide. Also, this was just one of many sessions being hosted. So be sure to sign up for additional sessions at oacac.org. In about a week, you'll be able to find this session's recording as well as all of the other session recordings at oacac.org.
www.cac.org. Thank you.